What is machine learning? Machine learning is literally machine learn something. So usually we have some input x and there is output y and machine make the output for the given input x. So this is kind of function. So y is equal to fx, let's say. If we don't give any information to the machine, then machine just randomly guess what is the output y. And of course the output quality is pretty bad. So we have to have some teacher. The what who is the teacher then? Teacher is usually data. From data, we will train a machine so that the estimated output to be close to the real output y. That is the typical machine learning. And there are many machine learning tasks. And usually we can classify the machine learning task into two different categories regression and classification. Uh, in regression task, the output usually have very um, continuous value and the value itself has very important meaning. For instance, house price or stock price. In that case, the value itself is very important and we want to make the output as close as possible to the real value y. On the other hand, in classification task, the value itself does not have no meaning. There are just categories and we want to predict the true category or true category labels for a given input x. So image classification is the very representative example for classification task. Okay, then how to learn? Uh, so according to the data type, we can classify the machine learning into three diff different categories. Supervised, unsupervised, And very recently, semi-supervised learning. Becomes very popular. Okay, in the case of supervised learning, we have pairs of input and output x1 and corresponding output y1, x2 and corresponding output y2, and so on. But for the unsupervised learning case, we only have either inputs or outputs. Sorry, this is Y2. There are no pairs. We just have a sequence of input or just sequence of output. Semi-supervised learning is in between supervised and unsupervised learning. So few data points have pairs of input and output. But many of them only have inputs. Okay. So for all three different categories, the goal of machine learning always make a machine so that the output becomes as close as possible to the, our target output with some desired performance.
Okay, so for the supervised learning case, since we know what is input x and corresponding output y, we can always test the machine or function. So give f input x and then see the output y. Let's say this is y hat. And then compare y hat and the true y. We can compare this. Okay. For this comparison, we usually have to define some rows function, which will measure how much different y hat and y. Okay. The how to control the function f, uh, there are many ways, of course. But uh, again, we can categorize the, the supervised learning into two categories, like uh, parametric and non-parametric. So in parametric case, we can define function f using some parameters. For instance, alpha1 plus alpha2x, this is a function, a linear function, and there are two parameters, alpha1 and alpha2. And by controlling the parameters alpha1 and alpha2, we can define many different linear functions. Okay? So in, in general, in parameter learning scenario, we have many parameters and we can control the parameters and using the loss function we usually control the parameters so that the loss function minimized on the other hand in the non-parametric learning case there are no parameters we define function solely based on the input data and output data pair input data and output data pairs and one very famous non-parametric learning algorithm is k-nearest neighbor algorithm. Okay. And deep learning is a parametric learning case. So usually throughout this course, we'll deal with parametric learning scenario. Right. On the other hand, on supervised learning case, we only have either input sequence or output sequence. So, to train a machine, we only have input information or we don't know what is the input but we have some output information. Okay? So, in unsupervised learning scenario, we barely guess what is the corresponding output y for this scenario and what is the corresponding input x for this scenario. So this is usually called encoder and this is called decoder. And you will see such structure and example when you learn autoencoder, variational autoencoder, generative adversarial network. Okay. And in real life, you can imagine an unsupervised learning scenario like this when you uh, go to music classroom or art classroom, and when you draw a uh, nice painting or when you compose the music, essentially there is no solution. Teachers cannot make score grading your uh, ability using some solution. They just feel your music and the painting and they, they can just say that, oh, this is very creative or this is uh, very similar with some existing works and so on. 
Unsupervised learning for machine learning is the same. There is no solution book. We can just uh, barely feel how uh, reasonable output we can get, how reasonable input we can get. That's it. That is the unsupervised learning. Okay.